For LTA Movie Club, fire up the pizza oven. It's time for Moonstruck. Okay, so a couple things uh, right off. Uh, first, I'm not using my usual camera because uh, this thing has seemed to have conked out on me, which sucks because it was working fine just a couple days ago. So uh, I'm going to have to figure that out. So I'm borrowing my brother's. Second of all, I apologize for being absent for the last two movies. Sounds like I missed out on some good stuff, uh, but I've been very busy with possible employment opportunities. Hopefully I'll get to check out, uh, at the very least, I Love You, Philip Morris, which I uh, had at least uh, some curiosity to look at in the past. I'd like to check that out at some point. So, Moonstruck. I'm glad we got to watch this movie because it's on quite a few uh, AFI lists, and uh, I generally keep a close eye on all those to see how many entries in each list I have or haven't seen, so any excuse to kick back another one of those is fine by me. Going in, I knew very little about this movie outside of the cast, the famous snap out of it line, and Johnny's wooden hand, uh, so I wasn't really sure what to expect. Uh, the movie follows this New York Italian family, no mafia, just some people with accents who all clearly love each other, but are also really tired of each other. Uh, the main focus is on Loretta, played by Cher, back when she still had some of her own skin, who gets engaged to Johnny, played by Danny Aiello. Loretta's a widower from her previous marriage, and she's decided she doesn't care about marrying a guy she loves, doesn't want to go through that again. So she says yes to Johnny's ring. Before the wedding, Johnny's got to go back to Italy to visit his uh, dying mother, and Loretta goes to approach Johnny's estranged brother Ronnie, played by Nicolas Cage, about coming to the wedding. Ronnie's been carrying a grudge against his brother, you see, because he lost his hand from an accident at the bakery where he works, and he blames Johnny for it. Now once we get the details, it's clear that it wasn't Johnny's fault at all, and Ronnie knows it wasn't Johnny's fault, but he blames him anyway because, I don't know, I guess it's easier. It's a different kind of romance movie, but a good kind of different. Uh, your main characters are a woman who doesn't care if she ever finds love, and a guy who's really full of hate. Somehow, Ronnie and Loretta end up sleeping together, and there's a burgeoning romance between them that could throw a wrench in the engagement. Uh, Loretta's dad is seeing another woman on the side, her mom meets another dude on her side, and there's also the full moon, which is exercising its magic on these people and drawing them together. Overall, I liked it. Uh, I like the actors a lot, especially Olympia Dukakis as Loretta's mom. She gets some great lines off. Uh, Cher got a lovely Oscar win for her role here, which was well-deserved. She knows her stuff. Nicolas Cage is here, and I like Nicolas Cage generally. Uh, this is back around the days of Raising Arizona, and he's pretty good. But his whole mouth-breathing sad sack thing kind of bothered me a bit. Uh, Ronnie has a speech in the middle where he explains how he's in love with Loretta and how it's the kind of love that hurts, which is how he knows it's real because love is like that sometimes, uh, unlike in uh, a lot of the movies you see. Uh, it was very interesting. So yeah, definitely recommend it. Good movie. For LTA Movie Club on the backup camera, this is Doug signing off.